Again, here this is uh, Sexually Speaking, sponsored by Dr. Kathy Nutt, the Center for Sexual Health. Online at Center for Sexual Health, STL. Dot com or give her a call at 314-315-9965. Now, uh, we have great stories uh, having to do with uh, sex as it impacts our society. And we're starting today with uh, the way men and women react very differently, mind you, to being cheated on. Here were the results, and MSNBC pumped this one out. According to a new study, it comes out of the University of Scranton in Pennsylvania. There's a big difference in the way that men and women react when they find out that somebody has been cheating on them. They're both furious, and they feel like their world is collapsing. That's pretty much a given. That's universal. But their reason for being furious turns out is quite different. Women mainly worry that their husband may have fallen in love with the other woman. Men mainly worry about all the nasty sexual things some other dude did to their wife. The study found that when a woman finds out she's been cheated on, 71% of her questions focus on the emotional side of the affair and 29% focus on the sex. For guys, 57% of the questions are about sex and 43 are about emotions. Researchers behind the study say that this is basic evolutionary biology. Men are wired to worry about providing for and raising a child that's not theirs. So when their wife cheats, their main concern is that maybe she's been knocked up by the other guy. Women are wired to worry about having a man stick with them. So when their husband cheats, the main concern is now devoted to another woman and will, you know, he's going to abandon his family and stuff like that. Um, it is illegal to get married to a 14-year-old in Brazil. 14, mind you. But most recent uh, census figures reveal that close to 43,000 14-year-olds are currently married in Brazil. And most didn't even know it was against the law. All right, Center for Sexual Health on Dallas. It's a medical facility, by the way. Uh, a lot of people are like, well, uh, is she a sexual surrogate? Is she a sex therapist? Dr. Kathy Naught, we hear you talk about her all the time. And sometimes it's more important to just focus on what she is not. Uh, but in this case, we're going to talk, it's a, it's a department of urology, uh, metropolitan urologists. And they do everything from, you know, bladder control issues, vasectomy and vasectomy reversals. If you're having some sort of issue, you know, women sometimes will have a, a sensation of dryness uh, during sex. Guys will have erectile dysfunction. Almost anything that's going on below the belt uh, that could impact, impact you and especially impact your partner. I mean, think about it. If you're involved in a loving relationship with somebody and you're having issues below the belt, that's not just your problem, right? That is also your partner's problem. And so that's a big part of the focus Dr. Kathy Naughton gives at the Center for Sexual Health. Online, centerforsexualhealthstl.com. Finally today, there is an Orthodox Jew in New Jersey who was, well, he's created an online store called koshersextoys.net. I want to repeat that, koshersextoys.net, which he says solves a big problem for his community. Using marital aids is okay, but looking at pornographic photos is not. So with his site, people could buy sex toys without looking at any explicit features. He says the top seller has been furry handcuffs, you nasty, nasty orthodox Jews. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, Sexually Speaking, sponsored by Dr. Kathy Naughton, the Center for Sexual Health, STL.com. We'll see you next time.